Charlie's piece by Marta Zafrilla. Julie, brush your teeth or you'll need a filling, yelled Julie's mom. Well, I'm a little bird who looks after his health, and all this business about getting a filling must be horrible, because she talks about it every day. There's no way I'm going to have one of those things in my mouth. I carefully watch Julie brushing her teeth, but there's one thing I can't quite work out. How do birds brush their teeth? I looked it up in the encyclopedia, but I couldn't find anything. I don't want problems with my teeth because I don't look after them properly. Just like Julie, Julie's mom says, teeth are for your whole life. I searched and searched, but there was nothing in the books or on the internet. I asked Goldfish, and he told me that sharks clean their sharp teeth with seaweed. They have several rows of teeth. It must take ages to get them all shiny and clean. I tried to clean my teeth using some clover leaves I found in the garden, but they just turned my beak green. That was worse than having dirty teeth. I asked Little Hamster and he told me that beavers clean their teeth with bark from the trees they chomp their way through. I decided to try and clean my teeth against one of the legs of the kitchen table. So all that happened was Julie's mom yelled at me and I ended up with a really sore beak. When I asked Aunt about it, she told me that grasshoppers clean their saw-edged teeth by chopping down flowers. So I thought I'd try it out with some lovely orchids that were in the front room. All I managed to do was to tip over the pot. Julie's dad stomped around with a confused look on his face, trying to work out what on earth had happened. Finally, I decided to try out a toothbrush just for myself to fight off the filling, just like Julie says every time she cleans her teeth. So I flapped into the bathroom and tried to pick up one out of the glass. But my beak isn't very good at grabbing things, and crash, what a mess. Julie ran into the bathroom, wondering what all that noise was about. What are you up to, Charlie? Do you want to brush your teeth? I looked up, up at her with great relief, glad that she had finally worked out what I wanted. Chirpy Charlie, you can't brush your teeth, she said in a very serious voice. You don't have any. What do you mean I don't have any teeth? That's impossible. Julie bent down and pulled a new toothbrush out of the bathroom cabinet. She unwrapped it and said, You may not have teeth, but I promise I'll brush your beak every day after you eat. You'll have the brightest, shiniest beak in town. I was so happy. Julie was my best friend ever. This book is called Scaredy Monster Loses a Tooth. Meet Scaredy Monster. He has big teeth, he has sharp claws, and he has an enormous... Oops, Scaredy Monster has, hopes he did not frighten you. In fact, Scaredy Monster has a secret. Do you want to hear it? Alright, come close. Scaredy Monster will whisper his secret to you. Scaredy Monster is not a scary monster. He is a scared monster. Why is Scaredy Monster scared? He opens his mouth to show you. Do you see it? Scaredy Monster has a loose tooth. He is worried because he has heard terrible stories about monsters who have lost their teeth. One monster swallowed her tooth in her sleep. Now there is a forest of teeth inside her tummy. And another monster lost a tooth and never grew it back. Scaredy Monster does not know if these stories are true. But he does know he does not want to lose his tooth. He makes a plan. He finds extra sticky peanut butter in the cupboard. Scaredy Monster smears the peanut butter all over the top of his tooth. There! It is stuck. There is no way his tooth can come loose. But then Scaredy Monster realizes something. Peanut butter tastes good. Really good. Uh-oh. There is no more peanut butter to keep his tooth stuck in his mouth. Scaredy Monster must find a new plan. He tries marshmallows, but they don't work. He tries gum, but gum is sticky, and it is also very messy. 
Scaredy Monster tries pushing his tooth back into place. He hurt his hand because his tooth is too pointy. The next morning at breakfast, Scaredy Monster mashes his food. He is scared to chew. Mommy Monster asks him what is wrong. Scaredy Monster opens his mouth. He shows Mommy Monster his loose tooth. He begins to cry. Mommy Monster hugs Scaredy Monster. She tells him not to worry. Losing a tooth is normal. A new one will grow back, and it will grow back bigger and sharper than ever. Scaredy Monster wipes the tears off of his fur. He will be brave. He will try not to be scared anymore. Scaredy Monster eats breakfast. He bites down. Scaredy Monster's tooth pops out. Losing a tooth was not scary. It was easy. And a sharp new tooth is already growing back. Scaredy Monster grins. He is not a scared monster anymore.